Okay. So, what I would do always is convert to simpler units. So, will you, I'll do on this side our little key. So, you want to remember that a newton is a mass times a gravity, or a mass kilograms times acceleration meters per second squared. Okay, so for this one, I always remember, oh, force is mass times acceleration from physics. Uh, then for joules, I just remember, oh, that's a newton meter. And that comes from work is force times distance. If you know those formulas, they can be helpful. If you don't know them, forget it. You just have to remember the units and get over it. Yeah. As there's no other way around it. And then Pascal is a newton per meter squared. And this formula where this comes from is actually, we talked about in class, pressure is force per unit area. Okay? So either, if you know the formulas already in your head for whatever reason, because you took high school physics, uh, you can get the units from there. Otherwise, you just have to plain memorize them. Okay? So I'm going to use those to put in here. So a Pascal is a Newton per meter squared. I'll leave the Newton for a second. And then I have a meter. And then I have a Joule, which is a Newton meter. Is that okay? So, oh, Newton meters are gone. That's fantastic. Well, I'm left for, with a Newton per meter squared. If Pascal is an answer, that's where I'd leave it as. Is it one of the answers? OK, there we go. So you even didn't have to convert this one. If you realize a Newton meter is a joule, those would cancel. Is a joule, yeah, totally equal. Uh huh. Everybody okay with the units?